in world languages, we emphasize linking languages and cultures. How does thematic planning accomplish this? Something I always try to do is choose themes that are personal and interesting and engaging to my students. I try to use vo um, teach vocabulary and within contexts where students are using real life vocabulary mm -hmm. in a way that is meaningful to them as well. So could you give me an example of a, a thematic unit that you uh, organized for your students? My third graders, um, they are actually, because they are in this IB PYP program, so in the whole school year there are six uh, units of inquiry. And I try to um, build my um, build their curriculum based on what they learn in, in their classroom, so try to be more content based. Um, and then um, one of their unit is about maps, so I think that will fit into what I want to introduce about Chinese geography. Um, they also learn about um, Asian civilization, so I talk about the first empire of China, um, and then. When they are learning the sharing the planet, it's about a water unit. I, I teach them about rivers in China. So they can all make connected uh, thematically with the map unit and then to carry on for the whole school year. So they are able to learn the different directions in the beginning. And then when I introduce like um, different cities or places in China, and they are able to use those, um, just like Hua Fatima talked earlier um, and to use that to track wh which city they are going, which, which direction they are going, to be like a real life situation in the classroom. In our context, in my context at the university, uh, we really try to connect uh, um, the study of the language, especially at the, la at the 10 or 4 level, so this is an intermediate mid-level, uh, to a context which is related to, for example, we uh, to the historical events that we have been uh, um, examining in the previous years. So, for example, we developed this unit, uh, which is a follow-up uh, of uh, um, of other parts in which students have learned about the Second World War and then about the neorealism, which is a cinema movie genre which developed after the Second World War, and we expanded and brought it further up. Uh, so, in order to uh, to get to the to nowadays, so that the student can analyze how historical events actually uh, are influencing cinema, and how cinema is a reflection, is a mirror of societies. So